Every motion of the body is described starting from the anatomical position. The anatomical position is the position in which a person is standing upright, eyes looking straight ahead, arms at the side with palms facing forward, the feet slightly apart at the heels, and the toes pointing forward. There are three anatomical or cardinal planes in the anatomical position. The sagittal plane divides the body into two sides, left and right. With a few exceptions, motions of flexion and extension occur in the sagittal plane. The second division of the body is the frontal or coronal plane, which bisects the body into front and back portions. With a few exceptions, motions of abduction and adduction occur in the frontal plane. Finally, the transverse plane divides the body into upper and lower portions. All movements of rotation occur in the transverse plane. Diagonal patterns of movement occur when components of all three cardinal planes of motion are combined simultaneously. Specific diagonal patterns of motion are described by the combined motions of either the shoulder or hip joints. These patterns are modified by changing the position or movement of the elbow or knee. This enables you to provide the patient with both joint range of motion and muscle range of motion exercises. When combining components of motion are performed, the resulting joint movement and muscle lengthening may be through less range of motion than when individual anatomical planes of motion are performed. As an example, let's watch the physical therapist as he works with a patient performing the combining components of motion found in the proprioceptic neuromuscular facilitation, or PNF, patterns. These movement patterns can be performed in various positions, such as supine or sitting.